Hey everyone, this is GoodfellasCigars.com again with another video from our how-to series. Today we're going to be showing how to season your humidor the right way. Some sites have told you to season your humidor by rubbing it down with a sponge. This may be a way to season it fast, but today I'm going to show you how to season it so that it lasts. First, the items you're going to need are Hartfield Industry bead tubes, which we will use later, our fully calibrated hygrometer, our distilled water, we don't want regular water because the impurities inside of it, humidor which we choose to season right here at Bally 100 count, a saucer, any saucer will do just so the water doesn't get out, and then lastly unscented sponges that are brand new. We just have three here because we don't have any larger ones on this. Okay now we can begin. We're going to want to grab our sponge and our distilled water of course. We're going to want to douse the sponge. We're going to want to get a decent amount of water on them so they're pretty wet. And the reason for distilled water again is because regular water has too many minerals and other uh, impurities inside of it which can uh, damage the inside of your humidor wood. Uh, now we've finished dousing our sponges. As you can see here, you can kind of wring out water. That's what we kind of want. And then we can begin our next step, which will be to grab our humidor. We're going to want to open it up, take out the tray, and then grab our sponges we just doused in distilled water, place them inside, and then grab our hygrometer, place that in there as well, come back in around 10 minutes, which would be enough time for it to get a base reading in the bottom of the humidor. 10 minutes has currently now passed. We come back to see our humidity reading is at 59%. We're going to want to record this for later because we will need this in our next step. And also right now, we're going to want to keep the hygrometer in the bottom for our best stable reason. Not on the top because humidity rises and will give us a false reading on what the humidity levels will actually be in the humidor. We're going to want to put in our tray now and then seal the top of our humidor up and come back in about 8 hours or so. And remember folks, don't forget to record your initial humidity reading from this last step. Our 8 hours have now passed. Now it's time to open back up our humidor. We were at 59% reading initially. And now it looks like we're reading right around 65%. This means we're currently on track because the humidity inside our humidor is finally starting to build up. We're going to want to close our humidor back up and we're roughly going to want to come back between 18 to 24 hours. We want our humidity to be anywhere from mid to high 70s at this point because that means we can start our next step. Okay, now it's been 18 to 24 hours. Now it's time to open up our humidor and check our humidity reading. We're currently reading at 77%, which is perfect. We're right on track with our mid to high 70s. So now it's time to add our 65% humidity Hartfield bead tubes. The reason we want the 65% is because it'll prevent the humidor from falling below that humidity. And we're only going to want one for this step because then there'll be an even transfer between the inside and outside layers of the wood with the humidity. This part will be called the stabilization period, which will be about 24 hours. So we're going to want to put the tray back in and then close up our humidor and come back about a day from now. Even though this is called the stabilization period, the beads will spike the humidity higher, so don't be alarmed. This means they're working. And now 24 hours have passed once again, and our humidity is looking like it's at 83%, which I was correct about the bead tubes spiking humidity, which is all right. And now we're going to remove the sponges because we don't need any more humidity or moisture added to the humidor anymore and the stabilization period is over. We're going to grab our second 65% Hardfield Industries bead tube, place that inside our humidor. This is going to bring down the humidity into the mid 70s to lower 70s range which is what we want for our next step and now it's time to close it back up and come back in about 12 to 24 hours. Well, our 12 to 24 hour period has passed again, and now it's time to see how far we dropped in humidity. We're currently reading about 76%, which is still kind of on the high side. Ideally, we want it in the lower 70s. So we're going to want to come back in 6 to 8 hours, and hopefully by then we dropped enough for our next step. Six to eight hours have passed. It's time to open up our humidor and check the humidity level. We're currently reading 74%, which is exactly what we want up for our next step. So that means it's time to begin to add our cigars. We want to start adding our cigars for the simple fact it will further stabilize our humidor where we want it. Ideally, a humidor is between 65 and 72%. 
any higher than 72%, you could get the risk of causing beetles within your humidor that can be damaging. Any lower than 65% can cause cracking in your cigars. Now we place our higher meter in the bottom of the humidor for the best accurate reading and close it back up and come back in a few hours to see where we're at. We're back once again and our hugger meter is reading 71% which is perfect. So that means it's time to put in our upper tray, add our last two 65% heart field bead tubes which we have filled by following directions on the back of the packaging. And now you successfully completed seasoning your very own humidor. For any other questions regarding seasoning your humidor, please refer to the post about this video. And anything else relating to cigar tips, news, and reviews, please visit goodfellowscigars.com.